Hello. Hi. Welcome to today's video. I don't know if this is coming out on Saturday or not because it's currently Friday, 9 p.m. Filming this very last minute. We filmed everything days ago, but I was just very busy, so I couldn't film this part. But now we are, so we're gonna hope that this video actually comes out tomorrow. But a uh, somewhat moderately requested video has been to do, has been to do, has been has been a back to school outfit ideas video now this one was like i was contemplating whether i should do this one mainly because i wear a lot of mini skirts and not exactly appropriate school things i guess majority of the time like even though what school counts as inappropriate is shoulders and ugh, i don't even like thinking back to the way that i was forced to change out of a uh, out of sh regular shorts because they were just apparently too small even though they were just regular shorts they weren't even like booty shorts or nothing but i was forced to change out of it and my friend's grandmother had to come bring me a skirt because my parents weren't home they were at work but anyways school outfit regulations things whatever rules are stupid but let's get started okay so this first outfit I was definitely trying to stick more towards the modest view of filing clothing outfits. I don't know what I'm saying, but I definitely, you know, was trying to be helpful towards those who have strict dress codes. So I chose to go with a maxi skirt here, which I don't know if you can tell on my screen. It looks like it's just like a black sort of grayish skirt, but it actually is a bit like patterned. And it's like black and like light gray, a little bit of green in there. I think there's a little bit of brown in there too, but I don't really remember right now. But yeah, we chose to go with a maxi skirt. Then I have on a short sleeve black t-shirt that I just got from Michaels, I want to say. I don't know, but the skirt I got thrifted. This is like to be more helpful towards those with the stricter dress code. And then for the shoes, although some schools don't allow open-toed shoes, I chose to go with the platform little sandals that I had. They're black. They got like two straps on them. And I got them from Forever 21, but you don't have to have those specific ones but it, you know i always liked the maxi skirt and sandals look so if your school doesn't allow like open toe shoes then i suggest maybe some socks if you're comfortable with that and then for the jewelry we kept it simple with just like some jelly bands and my typical eye girl layering of the necklaces so yes that is the first look and then moving on to the second look we kept the skirt changed up the shirt we went with a boutique shirt i don't really remember exactly which hold up wait a second oh it's a dress barn um but yes the shirt is actually a dress barn shirt that i got from goodwill and i just thought the colors fit really nicely with the colors in the skirt i just felt that it looked really nice really bringing out the lighter grunge with these outfits and it's not too much of a v-neck i probably brought up a v-neck later on in this video i don't really remember to change up the bag we brought out my nightmare before christmas bag i have not ever used this bag before but i just was like right now is the opportunity to use it and then we also kept the same jewelry for this outfit as well and then for the shoes we decided to switch it up go with the unif type looking glossier platform shoes i don't know i just felt that maybe these glossy ones wouldn't be too bad with this outfit as well we like the pvc type look you can also do socks and sandals here as well maybe i'd go for like white socks now so moving on to outfit number three this outfit we kept the same shirt and this time we went for some brown pinstripe pants i love these pants i don't know the brown goes really nicely with the brown at the top so you know we had to bring these out kept the same jewelry but we decided to switch out the platform sandals for some platform vans which you don't have to go for platform vans that's just like my style platform shoes i don't really think i have many non-platform shoes i was also thinking that maybe you can wear some converse with this outfit instead i was thinking some like some ivory high top converse that also works and then we brought the bag out still we're still keeping the same jewelry you know we're still going for this light grunge look i like how simple these outfits are though like they're not too uncomfortable because you don't even want to be comfortable at school so for the fourth outfit is this the fourth one i think so we kept the pants and switched up the shirt to a short sleeve black top 
top that I got from Michaels and then just painted some bleached flowers on there. You don't specifically have to have this top but I just thought it fit nicely because although it's two different types of browns, it's more like a tan and a brown, I just felt that it fit pretty well. I also love this outfit too, it's still comfortable. Um, we also kept the black bands because you don't know, have the black shirt. Very comfortable outfit. The shirt is a little tiny bit cropped, it may show a little bit of a belly button but like we can probably get away with that. Maybe not in middle school. My middle school dress code was more strict than the high school dress code but so for this next outfit we're putting away the light grunge and we're bringing in the gothic look i have no idea in this time we brought out a trip nyc corset i think it's called the hook corset but i could be wrong and we brought out these black pants that i have they're kind of like skinny jeans but not really because they do a little bit of a boot cut at the end of them which is why i love them this outfit is also pretty comfortable the corset isn't like your no you know like a victorian type corset that's really meant to like cinch your waist this is more like a corset top it fits a little big on me though so it looks a tiny bit wonky and some of you may be thinking wow kendall this outfit is real inappropriate i see shoulders but like i said if you have a more like lenient dress code or like your teachers or whatever aren't on top of it then you know bam but if you have you know a stricter dress code then maybe you can put on a short sleeve underneath it you know like you're to cover up the shoulders look pretty decent you know a little bit awkward the way that the corset is like a I forgot what it's when it goes like that but you know yeah and then we got some stuck, stuck with the black platform band i was thinking of bringing out one of my stompers demonia stompers but i figured if you're gonna be walking around school all day you don't really want to wear that but to be honest if i really wanted to i would also make sure to go check out the links in the description for majority of the stuff that i can provide links to i don't really know okay i'll try to provide links to as much as i can and then for the next outfit we kept the same pants and we just put on a different corset. This corset may be a bit more revealing than the last one, you know, with the shoulders, more shoulders and collarbone. So this one also looks fine, which is the black t-shirt underneath it. Maybe you can do a black long sleeve. I don't know. I've never tried it before. You can try it. Maybe it'll look nice. But yeah, we kept the same jewelry, same shoes, brought out the Jack Skellington bag again, which I believe I got this from somebody off of Depop. I think I showed you guys it before, but I don't really know. Anyways, I'll link their Depop down in the description. But yeah, the bag is amazing. I went on the hunt for this bag. But let's move on to the next outfit. So about this outfit, this outfit may not exactly be high school, middle school friendly. Definitely not middle school friendly. I mean, if your parent allows it and you're comfortable with it and there's no problem at school, then you're fine. But I'd say this one caters more towards our college friends over here. This is a button up little vest that I got from the thrift store. Quite a few of you have been asking me where I got it from, but I got it from the thrift store and I wish I could tell you exactly where it's from, but it just says made in China. And then there's another tag that said it was like a four piece set. And I don't really know where like that is either because I just got it from the thrift store. But you know, if you just search up women's vest, I love this outfit. You know, it shows that you're not afraid to show a little bit of skin. I mean, nothing's wrong with not showing skin, you know, you do you. But, you know, this outfit is a little bit more on the riskier side you know we got the chestuses and the belly button and the stomach light grunge go on we brought out the cuffs brought out the little mini vest it's crazy i can say that this outfit was inspired by jack skeleton my favorite skeleton with the pinstripe i think he's a big inspiration as to why i like pinstripe i was so tempted to buy his little costume in spirit halloween but i didn't next outfit this outfit i was feeling very iffy with it i didn't really know if it didn't really fit well if it looked right on camera i never tried it before this is a new outfit new combination and it's just a striped long sleeve that i got from the thrift store and i also have this like unif dupe skirt here i figured that it'd kind of go because there's green in the top and green in the skirt and you know it may look a little bit like christmas with the red and green but we don't judge here now that I'm looking at it, I feel a little bit more confident in this outfit, but you tell me if it works. You know, this is inspiration for you, okay? This is for you. And then we also brought back in the first slides that we were wearing, which are the Forever 21 slides there. But anyways, like I said, you tell me if this works because I feel like it does, but it doesn't at the same time. And it kind of makes you look like, you know, it's Christmas time, but that's okay if that's how you want to look. And then since I didn't feel that confident with the last top for this outfit, we brought in a different top, which I feel fits worse than the first one. Um, it's a uh, thermal top, I think, and it has like a blue stripe across the front, but like the shirt itself, like the main color is like a brownish green. And I figured that that was what would help it work with the skirt, but I feel like it doesn't really fit that well. So I wouldn't really call this a fit. Maybe some would, but 
after wearing that shirt i got inspired to put on one of my largest over the knee skirts and by largest i don't mean like waist size i mean like length definitely looks a bit smaller than it actually does in real life but that's because like it rides up every now and then we've seen this skirt many a times one of my favorite skirts but i figured it'd go kind of well because we have blue in the sweater and honestly i was tempted to wear it that day because i was going out somewhere i don't remember where but i was going out somewhere brought back out the night before christmas bag because i felt like it just fit more with this outfit than like the black tote and then we also put on the bear 204s i don't know if that's the right number but they are one of the demonia bear sizes shoes styles design and i just felt that fit well also because you know there's black in the skirt black in the shoes and also green and black a nice mix if you watch my other videos then you know the top is thrifted the skirt is from a seller on depop who i will link down below and then going from that skirt we then brought out another dress barn shirt that we got from goodwill because there's blue black and like white and gray in this shirt and that matches the skirt and i was like wow look at this the skirt may be a little bit iffy with some schools and like your dress code strictness but i feel like if you just pull it down a little bit more than i did then you kind of be fine maybe and we kept the same shoes on because we like those shoes and the shirt is a bit of a v-neck but it's not like a crazy v-neck where it's like down here and i believe that was the last outfit which i didn't even realize i thought it did like 20 i don't know i'm just having a lot of trouble coming up with new outfits these days um but yeah i hope you take some inspiration from that those were the back to school outfit hope you like hope you subscribe check my instagram check out my depop check out the, some other videos on my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.